Right, so, part two, we've got our battery, our relay, and our motor, speed controller, and our Raspberry Pi, all linked up. I'm going to put it into this box. It's a bit of a uh, shitty, terrible box with holes all drilled in, but it'll do for now. So, the slider, slider track, and a screw to hold it in onto the slider track. So first we're going to fit all these bits in the box, um, hopefully it doesn't short, I'll put tape over the connections because I'm not going to be gluing this in because I'm going to be taking this out another day, um, reuse the parts, so I don't want to particularly glue them all in. So I'm just going to plonk them in here, not the best idea, I know, but it will do for now. Put the switch in. And then we're going to basically, if you can see there, I'm not sure if it's focusing because auto focus is off. I've drilled two holes there so I can cable tie the motor in. So I've put it like this. Um, get some cable ties. I should have mentioned this in the parts. I'll be putting a list of parts down in the description. And in this tutorial, the last part, I'll be putting in the code for the app to control it. So now you set up your was uh, ros Raspberry Pi, sorry, Raspberry Pi, right. Uh, the Wi-Fi should be on 10.0.0.5, uh, hopefully meaning my code will work and connect to the Raspberry Pi. If it's not 10.0.0.5, then the Raspberry Pi uh, won't connect with the app because the app's listening on that IP uh, and then connects to the Raspberry Pi's API which is, uses the GPIO library uh, just got to get this cable tie in pop it through there like that get this cable tie in through here if it'll go uh, yeah there we go, that one's in Pop this in here. Put this one through here. Like so. Put this down. Hopefully nothing shorts it out. I would hate that because it's a LiPo battery and I've already had one explode in my face. Like a three stage rocket. Once it burns through all the cells, it was when I accidentally punched a hole in. Alright, actually, I'm just going to test this. Look at the power light. Starts up. Raspberry Pi's LED is on. Relay LEDs are on. Actually, before I do this, before I put the top on, I um, need to mount it to the slider. So, we're going to mount it on this end here through that hole. <clears throat> um, so, I raise this up a little bit. I love the box. Everything's just falling out. Ugh. I don't tend to do builds this punched. No. just because I'm reusing the parts for another project which is a cable cam shoots time lapses across 30 meters which is a lot for a long distance uh, did I put a washer around somewhere? should be a washer uh, if not I might be able to make do without, um, actually, yes, I can make do without. <coughs> right, screw this in. Alright, that's screwed in. Mount it to the slider. It's 
boot it up. Trim these cable ties down a little bit. So it doesn't look too shit. It's not about appearance anyway. As long as it works, it does its job. Right, relating this, this slider, you need to get a uh, bit of a, uh, this is just a bit of gardening string. Attach it to this, because it's made out of like plastic with nylon or something, so it's quite strong. Like, it's quite strong. Attach the slider, sorry, the carriage to the slider. This. Bit of an old slider. Um, Alright, the motor started up, that's all. Initiated, so I'm going to connect my phone to the Wi Fi because it takes about like forever to connect. So if we go to Wi Fi, I've named it on here. Uh, let me actually put autofocus on. Uh, is it going to focus? Uh, let's do it manually. Well, there's a uh, Wi-Fi there called Cable Cam, which is for the Raspberry Pi. It's connected now. You can see, it comes up with a little icon uh, that shows... Oh, has the icon gone? No, the icon's still there. That shows that basically it hasn't got any internet connection. It's an exclamation mark next to the Wi-Fi signal. So that's connecting now. You focus it back again. There we go, focused. Right, connected to the Wi Fi. Let's check if it works. I've got an app here. Let's start with 25%. Yep, it's turning. Right, so that works. So now we need to attach the piece of string to the uh, shaft of the motor. I'm just using this old little knob just to basically put it in place. Um, I'd recommend doing it with something else. Something more permanent. But, as again, I'm just doing this for the tutorial. And I will be reusing the parts afterwards. So now this is attached. Come on. Screw this onto the motor like that. Right, that's in place. Slide is on. Slide is together now. Put it up a little bit. Um, I don't think it's through, did I? No. Let's see if I can attach the camera without taking it off. Uh, where did I put the lens cap? Somewhere. Such a bad way of screwing on the camera. <laughs> well, it's on now anyway, isn't it? Facing this way, oh well. So the camera's there. Put the lens cap on. Right. So now that is all set up. Let's test it out. Alright, we're gonna. I don't think the 15 or 10% works. Which basically, 15% starts the motor for one second, stops it for one second. If you're doing slow time lapses. And then 10% basically starts the motor for a second, stops it for two seconds. Um, but that's not working on my phone for some reason. It works via the uh, web interface. Um, but not on my phone. I don't know what's wrong with that. I might have to debug that. But let's try it with 25%. A little loud because of the gearbox, but it's moving. Let's speed it up. Go 50, 100, and stop. Fortunately, uh, because the motor's on a string and it's literally pulling it, um, if you want it to go back, you just have to put it up a little bit with a slant like this. Put it in reverse, 25. Tilt it down a little bit. There you go, your camera's moving down again. Not an ideal way to do it, but 
time lapses you're only going to be moving one way and you only need it in reverse to actually move it back down. So yeah. Ta-da! DIY camera slider for time lapses. Right, let's turn this off now. So I will link the uh, code for the app, or actually a download for the app in the description. I'll compile it. I could even upload it to the App Store if you want, uh, which I might do. Yeah, I'll upload it to the App Store, that'll be easier, so you can just download it. It's only for Android, um, I'm afraid. Because uh, I, don't, I don't have an iOS account. I don't have an iPhone either. Um, so yeah, it's for Android. And then I'll link down the code for the Raspberry Pi, how to set it up, um, how to configure the GPIO server and Apache server and configure the Wi-Fi hotspot. I'll put a little tutorial for that in the description. So there you have it, camera slider for time lapses. Go try it yourself. <laughs>